as usual, the morning cardio is done. It's 5.15 a.m. I'm in my new apartment, in my new loft, and I love it. I think I got bit by a spider last night. I don't know what the fuck that is, but... You know, I was reflecting on my run this morning, like, hard. There's a mirror. The, the apartment gym's... I wouldn't say it's, like, overly nice, but, like, for doing cardio, it's nice that I don't have to drive to the gym. Um, especially because there's really none open this early around here. And I, I was just looking into the mirror as I ran, as I was on the pursuit. And something about reinforcing yourself during the action is extremely valuable. You know, I, I was sitting here thinking back. I've had one of my best months and um, getting really, really close to my, my profit goal for the month. Um, and you know, it, it all falls on me now, right? Which is exactly what I want. I want all the cars to stop with me. I want to be fully, you know, I've paid for all of my stuff for a long time, but obviously I didn't live on my own. Now I live on my own. I pay for everything and, and it just puts everything into perspective. A few months ago, my bank account was literally on negative $80 my Shopify store for the product that I was that I was selling had been shut down because I didn't even have the $35 and some change to pay for the monthly bill and and the the shipping labels cuz you pay for your shipping labels if you ship through Shopify with your monthly bill. And I just I I saw the screenshot that I took because I took it knowing that that was just a season. Even though it was a few months ago, I was negative $80 in my bank account. I was in debt from the Facebook ads that I was running that were not converting. And I'm going to do a video on, on why I was in that situation. But I knew deep down it was stressful. It was scary. But I knew deep down that I created the man. I created the man through my mindset, habits, nutrition, and training that was capable of reaching my goals and achieving the success that I wanted. I'm not some super rich kid. I save all the money that I make. Everything has been on 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 me. And and obviously I, I get my strength to do everything I do from the Lord. Like that's the only reason why I have the strength and the resilience to, to do what I do. But I have built it with with within myself. I've created an unbreakable character that is capable of receiving the success that I want. I'm, I'm just getting started. I'm even more fired up to, to reach my goals. But for so long, it's been a goal for me to get my own spot, pay for all my stuff and have the, the, the means to sit and be like, I'm okay. I have achieved this. I have brought this upon myself with my action and my sacrifice. And that's where I've gotten now. And that makes me even hungrier. But I'm making, I'm making, you know, my projected in the year, what most people don't make until they're six years out of college. And I got made fun of for not going to college. But I knew in my mind, if I create the man that is rare, that is capable of achieving the success. It is the only time when I find the right vehicle, it will come to me. And that's what you have to do. What you guys get wrong and what I got wrong for so long was chasing the thing. I was chasing the how instead of chasing the who. That's, that's, that's the core of this. You have to create the person that is capable, that is able to sacrifice. You motherfuckers think that you're going to put yourself in a rare position without being a rare individual. That's why you're in my comments like, it's not sustainable to wake up at 425. Fuck you. How does it taste? I've been doing that for hundreds of days. Haven't missed. I'm still growing in the gym. I feel amazing. Cry to yourself. Cry to your mom. Don't come on this YouTube channel and cry. 
Because all my guys in the comments, no, we, we want no negativity here. Because we are creating that motherfucker. What they call him, that's what I'm creating. Because I can do whatever I please because I've created the individual. And my brain knows if I tell myself something, I'm gonna do it. I, I, I woke up an hour before my alarm and I was ready to start the day. And I woke up at 4 this morning instead of 425 because I have a call at 6 a.m. But when your time is managed so strategically, you can have a peace of mind that you're going to go from one flow to the next flow to the next flow. And my days are booked from the second I wake up to the second I go to sleep with work and learning and studying and impact. Every single one of those develops my mindset, my habits, my nutrition, and my training indirectly. And you might be like, how? How? Every time I'm working my mindset, I'm able to push harder in the gym because my mindset is now developed. Every time I stay consistent in the gym, it reinforces me to stay consistent in my habits. Every time I choose to stay in and cook and eat healthy and log my fucking macros in my app, which I always do, every time I choose to do that, it reinforces my brain that I'm going to stick to what I tell myself I'm going to do. So when I set out to do things, I have all of the reinforced behaviors that positively tell my brain, you choose to do this, you're going to do it. You're not going to lose. You are going to figure it out because every single time I have figured it out and I have failed many, many times, but I've kept going. Failure hates persistence. It cannot stand persistence. That's how I think about things. Every time I'm inconvenienced or there is something that would make average motherfuckers stop, I sit there and I'm like, yes, I, I, I received this problem now and now I have developed even more resilience once I get through it. It, gets, it gives me even more fire to conquer the problem in front of me because I know that once I eat that problem, I'm another level up now. And half of you guys, you, get, come, you come across a problem and since you've never held yourself accountable, you're like, oh, that's too hard. And then you just go backwards. Smaller problems start to arise and your brain's like, I don't even know if I can do this anymore. And you're super inconsistent. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you don't. You never know what you're going to do. You're walking around always being like, these people are looking at me. Oh, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. You're in the gym. You're always thinking about other people because you haven't built the person that has certainty. I've heard this. Boys are confident. Men are certain. I am certain in my ability. I'm not overconfident. I'm certain in the fact that I have put in more work than everyone else. There's people that outwork me, but I know that every situation that I get in, I'm going to give 110%. I'm going to give maximum, above maximum of my capacity and no less. And I have certainty in that. And that gives me the, the confidence and the assurance to conquer anything that I come across. Anything. So when I was sitting there down bad, I knew that I was in the wrong vehicle, but I had created the man. So I've been coaching, uh, you know, I've coached in the gym. I've coached a ton of people for free. I've been doing social media coaching. But when I s decided, okay, let me not keep going into all these markets that I know nothing about. And let me go into the market that I have over six years of experience in and that I love with all my heart dearly, which is fitness and my mindset and creating the highest version of myself. And when I started a business doing that and four months in, I'm making what like I said earlier, what most people make a few years out of college. But a year ago, people were making fun of me. Oh, there's John Mark. Look at that kid. He's a failure. He didn't go to college, but they didn't know I was building. 
I was building the man and I was building the fucking plan. And I had the assurance that if I put in the reps and I made the sacrifices, nothing could stop me and I am well on the way towards reaching my goals. It's the first month of 2024 and I'm just getting started. All my guys that I've brought on so far this month, they're just getting started. They're about to take the fuck off and we're creating a community that is unstoppable because they understand. They're able to sit there, drop their ego and learn. That's what I did my first years in the gym. All the kids I see now, nobody wants to take advice. They want to be like, no, I know this. I know this. Obviously you don't. Your arms are two inches big and you're trying to bench the 80 pound dumbbells and you're dropping them on your chest. You look like an idiot, but you don't want to take a little bit of advice. So I don't, I, you know, I don't even try and, and help out the ones that they can't take it anymore, but I was able to drop my ego, look stupid and ask everybody, Hey man, what advice would you give your younger self? What advice, what's the biggest thing that you can tell me that's gonna help with my training? Every time I'm around somebody that knows more than me, that's more successful than me, even people that are, if, if, you're, if you're more successful than me and you're, you're younger than me, I'm still gonna listen to you. I can learn from every single person and that's where everyone fucking makes mistakes is they think they're too good to listen. I've got dudes that are 30, 33 in my program and I'm 19, and they understand, you know, there might be areas where they know more than me, and we're on the call, and you know, we end up talking about something, I'm like, dude, I learned something from you, this is amazing, but they see that I've mastered this version of me, and this side of myself that they need to master, and they are willing to take what I have to say, and, and they are willing to let me build out the steps, and the, 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 the things that they need to do, to reach the version of themselves that they want to reach. And the fact that they're able to drop their ego, reflect and look at themselves and say, these are all the mistakes I'm making and I can't hold myself accountable. And then that is where I come in. They are the ones that get exponential success because they're willing to build the who. They're willing to build the who, but a majority of you, you see these videos and you instantly, you instantly look for the negative instead of looking for the positive. I can tell about how successful somebody's going to be just from talking, talking to them for a little bit. They're instantly looking for the negative in everything. They're looking at how they can, they can, they can unvalidate something instead of extracting the positive. Life is a fucking mirror. It's not a window. So what they are seeing in the mirror, they think it's the world around them, but they're seeing their, themselves. The world that I view now is completely different from the world that I viewed a few years ago. Has the world, has the world changed in the scheme of things? No, my, myself has changed. So what I reflect on other people is different. It's so much more positive. It, it just, it is positivity. It's growth minded. It is success oriented. But I used to see negatively. I used to see all the bad things because I was over consuming and I was under producing. I am a creator, not a content creator. I create things. I accumulate energy into the universe and I create things. A lot of you guys walk around with this potential energy. You know what you want to do all the time. You formulate a plan. You're always writing a goal, but you never take the action. You have all this potential energy. People talk about knowledge is power. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power, but unless you act on that shit, it doesn't matter. Unless you act on that shit, it does not matter. That's what I want to leave you guys with today. You have to create the man that can achieve what you want to achieve or nothing matters. You can't just skip the steps and get there. 
But if you create that man and every single day you hold yourself accountable, you stay consistent and you work towards the goal every single day, you tep- you take steps forwards. And if you go one day of taking step backwards, take three steps forward the next day. Never ever make progress backwards. If you create the man that is capable of achieving what you want to achieve, you will be able to accomplish anything. But you have to be willing to drop your ego and and drop your status for a little bit so that you can arise above everyone else. Everyone else is constantly trying to portray themselves higher than they are. Portray themselves higher than they are. So there's a fucking limit on where they can get. I would rather drop my status for a little bit, be viewed as a failure, be viewed as someone who who isn't successful, and learn and, and take the pain that is accumulated at the bottom and the experiences and the skills and then skyrocket past them while they stay there and then they continue to drop because they aren't willing to look stupid and learn. They're not willing to do it. And, and that is what you guys have to do. That is what you guys have to do. Today is a quick one because I have to go inside and I got to start working, but I've got a ton of videos for y'all coming this week. I'm going to try to do a video every single day. Once I get more furniture in my apartment and I'm not living like a nomad, um, I'm going to do an apartment tour for you guys and I'm going to do some more gym videos and I've got a ton of things coming. I'm creating some free resources to give you guys about you know how to track your macros, some training programs, supplement protocols, and I'm trying to create as much as I can to to send out to you guys for free so that you can make as much progress as possible. And man, I love you guys so much. Every day I wake up feeling so blessed. I, I shoot out of bed. Even if I feel like shit, it is hard. But I can't let you guys down. I can't let you guys down. Every single one of your faces from the comments in your name, you, they pop into my head and I'm like, who the fuck would I be if I decided to give in and sleep in right now? And that's never going to go away. That's never going to go away. Y'all can see in three years, you'll see I still haven't missed and I've still kept growing. All these 40 year old fat dudes with tits in the comments comments acting like this isn't sustainable they they, they instantly want to type type something negative give their give their opinion and shit like that stay where you are stay where you are i'll continue to surpass you because i'm willing to learn from everybody and i have created the man who will continue to get better Because I put myself in uncomfortable situations all day long. I am constantly in a state of creating and I'm not in a state of consuming. I'm constantly helping people, constantly impacting and pouring out my heart into others 24-7. And most of you guys that, 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 that talk that shit, you're way too good to focus on anything but yourself. And that's why all you see is negativity. And I'm sorry, brother. I'm... I'm really fucking sorry for you. But if you're not willing to create the man, you'll never create the life that you want for yourself where you're able to serve others and provide for others like you should be doing as a man. I love you guys. Fill out the link in my description uh, for early access to, to, to my, my bodybuilding discord. It's going to drop February 1st. If you fill it out, you'll get... um. Uh, a pricing discount like 67% off for, for my app when it launches. Um, I'm, I'm really working on that every single day between my clients and my calls um, to, to get that out for you guys. But stay tuned for the videos. I'm about to put out a ton of like educational videos of how to properly track your macros, how to properly train and how to learn how to train your body efficiently. DM me on Instagram. I'm still trying to get back to every single one of you guys. I really appreciate the support. It means the world. And as always, in a world full of pussies, stay aggressive.